What's up YouTube? This is Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog again. This particular vlog I wanted to talk about a lot of the violence that's taking place right now in Chicago. Okay? As we all know, President Trump sent some uh, federal agents out to Chicago to try to uh, put hands on certain situations and to try to get a certain level of control over the gang violence, the shootings, the murderings, the, 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 the you know, the drug sales, all of that good stuff, all that stuff and all that good stuff, right? All of that is good, okay, if, if you will. But to make a long story short, what people fail to realize is, I mean, they're looking at this stuff and they say, that's a shame. Them people are animals. They're out there in Chicago, they're killing each other. Black on black violence. All their animals, this is crazy. Here's what I want y'all to be uh, aware of. And I want y'all to take this into consideration. Out of all of those shootings and all of those murders, Okay, they are this many suspects, this many people that are being caught for the amount of shootings and crimes and murders that are taking place in Chicago. This many people, that is like, that's less than a mustard seed, if you will say. So you gotta ask yourself, how is it that there are thousands of shootings, right? And not one suspect has been caught. Not one person has been questioned, caught, suspected of anything, uh, have actually committed the actual shooting. Nobody's being caught. That's a conspiracy, y'all. It's a conspiracy because this is what I'm believing. Are all of these shootings being done by gang members? These are the questions we gotta ask. Are all these shootings being done by, is this black on black crime really? As far as we know, based on the amount of evidence and based on how well the law enforcement, the FBI, or whoever is doing the investigations of these crimes, based on how well they're doing, how do we know they're not the ones that's actually doing it? Now, I'm not saying that that's the case, but we have to take that in consideration when they're not finding any information about where, how these crimes are taking place, who's doing them and, and such and such. Cause I've been around for a little while. I've seen a lot. Okay, I've seen one person get shot and 10 people are brought in for questioning. Out of those 10, five of them may have be, even be found as the perpetrators of the crime. And even if those five people didn't really do it. Those five people may even be prosecuted as the perpetrators, even if they didn't do the crime. But when nobody is being found, I have to question who is the real shooters. You sure these are gang members shooting? Could it be another organization that are perpetuating these uh, murders? Is, it the, is this a government situation? Are they military? Is it the CIA? Is it the FBI? Is it the Ku Klux Klan? Is it some racist organization that are coming through, sweeping these communities in gunfire, murdering all of these people in color, and not being traced, found, or found out in any way? Like you gotta be a top secret, you have to be a professional killer to not leave any clues or any traces 
or any a hair, a fingernail, a eyelash. You have to be a professional killer to do that many shootings and not be traced in any kind of way based on the amount of technology that we have to evaluate these situations in this day and time. So we gotta be smart. Are these people just being brutally wiped out and murdered? Or is this gang violence? The media says it's gang violence. The media says it's black on black crime. But do we listen, Do are we making our decisions based on the media? Or do we have a mind of our own? Are we really looking at the scenario with an open mind, a clear mind? That is important, y'all. That is important. I saw a video of a gentleman from Chicago, Illinois, an older gentleman, okay? I would consider him an OG. If you from a certain demographic, you know that an OG, I would say an original gangster. If you're not from a certain de uh, demographic, this will refer to someone that has lived a life in the past that has graduated to a normal, peaceful life. No, no more involved in gang violence, crime, things of that nature, right? This gentleman said that somewhere in the late 80s and early 90s when he was a kid that when they would go outside and they would play in the community, they would sometimes go to these, some abandoned homes and they would have uh, communities where, you know, uh, they would have part uh, neighborhood areas in their community where houses were, you know, uh, demolitioned and, and it was just rubble and things of that nature. And he said they would find like crates, large crates full of guns ammunition bullet everything they would just find all these large crates of guns like where is this stuff coming from you know and he would just question it and he said on well, several different times you know when they were just kids just playing in the community and they would just be in different they would go to an abandoned building or something just to snoop around and play you know how kids do I, it was an abandoned school in my community we climbed through the window we would go walk through it you know, we that's just what kids do, okay? But they were finding crates and crates of ammunition. And then we look at what's going on right now in 2020, and it's like everyone has a gun. Everyone has a freaking weapon. Like, where are they getting the weapons from? We gotta be smart, ladies and gentlemen. We can't just look at a situation and just say, that is a damn shame. Or they ought to be ashamed of themselves for killing each other. We have to say, like, how did Chicago get that many guns on the street? Okay, because these gang members, they don't travel. If they travel and they have the money and the power to do it, Okay, they are of their outside influences and entities involved in getting these weapons into the community. We have to be the type of people that don't just look at what's being presented in the media and what's placed on the surface. We have to go beyond that. Whenever there's a school shooting or whenever there's a shooting from another culture, the first thing they say is, where did he get the gun? Oh, he got the gun from his father's gun cabinet. His father has a licensed gun in the gun cabinet and the kid took the gun out of the cabinet, took it to school and did the school shooting. There's never a situation where there's a mass shooting and there's never a question of where did the child get the gun. But unfortunately, with these Chicago shootings, nobody is questioning where the guns have come from. 
not only are they not questioning it, questioning it, questioning it, they are not finding any suspects, any, they're not finding anything. They're just like, oh, knocked them out again. That's 10. Next weekend, it'll be 15. The weekend after that, it'll be 30. The weekend after that, it'll be 50. That's just what they do. That is not just what they do. Something is happening. Chicago has been, Chicago has been targeted for this particular attack that's taking place, y'all. It is no coincidence that this is happening. It is no coincidence that it's this many murders and it's this many uh, suspects. We have to be smart. We have to go beyond what is on the surface. We have to go beyond the media. We are smarter than the media. They think we're stupid. They think that they can just put anything out there and we will just follow like law, like sheep. That's what they think. And you know what? The sad thing about it is nine out of 10 times, that's what most of us are doing. But we got to think beyond the surface. We got to say to ourselves, how is it that many bullets? How is it that many guns? You can look at any rap video of rappers in Chicago. They all got these incredible weapons. I'm like, I can't even go to the store and buy that legally. How they got it? It's not all from people sell, it's not all from the drug game, okay? It started somewhere. And to be as sophisticated as we are, as far as government, law enforcement, FBI, customs, border control, nobody seems to know where these weapons came from because nobody seems to care where they came from. If you're not willing to go further than the surface, then make sure you're the last person in line to judge the destruction of a people in a community, in, in a city, in a community. It's a mess. It's a disaster, it's sad, okay? I'm from Baltimore. Right now, Baltimore is the murder capital of the United States of America. So it's no different. Same thing is happening there. It's happening all over the country, y'all. And nobody's asking, the, if, if they start asking the right questions and start looking in the right directions, Guess what? Maybe we can, maybe they can, maybe it can, we can get a grip on what's really going on, not what's being said. But until people of you, till humans care about humans, and it's not like, oh, well, that's happening to that group of people. So my people over here, so I'm not concerned about that. It's a damn shame and it's sad. But as long as it's not my own family, Till we concerned about humanity, all these tricks that were just for kids is gonna be played on all of us. So with all that being said, y'all, this is Cheney Live. It's been a pleasure. I continue to vibe with y'all. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. We're just trying to wake up the minds of the people and separate them from organized confusion and uh i love y'all okay i wish y'all the best continue to like share the videos subscribe continue to subscribe to the channel it's only going to make the message go further and i will see you on the next vlog